Okay, we understand that uh, you have been with McLaren before this. So, how does it feel getting into a, such a new team like Lotus and going from the front of the pack all the way to the back? Well, of course, um, <clears throat> when I joined the team Lotus, um, for me it was uh, a decision that was uh, was needed. I felt that uh, my previous teams, uh, it, it wasn't uh, working 100%. I was not being able to perform at the level that I, I felt that I should have done. So I felt I needed a fresh start. And, um, okay. and Lotus at that point looked interesting for me. It looked like a big challenge, but I felt that uh, it's the right, right place to go. And that's the reason why I decided to join the team. I met Tony and Mike um, and I, I felt that this is a serious effort. And um, since uh, since working with them this year, um, I'm more convinced that it's the right place for me to be, and we have a, a good future ahead of us. A lot of work to be done, but uh, but we were able to achieve the goals that we set for this season, and um, <coughs> and it hasn't bothered me too much being at the back of the grid, uh, as long as it doesn't happen for too long time. Of course, you know, I want to move at the grid, and I think we can do that. And uh, ultimately, you know, we want to to get back to the front. Uh, it's not going to be easy, but uh, if we believe in, believe, in, uh, believe in it enough, I think we can do it. What are your personal expectations in the championship? When do you plan, you know, obviously you want to win the Drivers' Championship. When do you think, you know, that's coming about? I think it will take still, still two, three, four years. You know, when we eventually get to a point where we are competing in top 10, then it gets very tricky. The top 10 is very, very tough. You know, there's Red Bull, there's McLaren, there's Ferrari, there's Mercedes, and teams that are very, very close together. There's a Renault as well. So the top 10 is, is very tough. So we still have work to be done to achieve, you know, to get to that point. But once we get there, then it's, it's a, you know, then it's a full, full game on. And by then, I think we'll have a, facility that is good enough to to uh, what it takes to be at the front of the grid and at, at the moment we don't have it yet we need our own wind tunnel for example but we are building uh, all the time and at the same time um, uh, getting stronger and getting bigger as a team and I'm very motivated to work here and, and this year I've enjoyed working here uh, probably more than any other years in Formula 1 so I look forward to the future and, and look forward to already next year so you do see yourself racing with uh, Lotus Racing for quite a while? Yes, it's possible. It's but possible and at the moment the rate of development and the, the rate of progress is better than I was expecting. So I'm very comfortable in this team. I'm, I enjoy working with these people, uh, with, uh, with Tony, with Dean, uh, with, uh, with NASA, with Riyadh, with all the, all the Malaysian guys as well as uh, obviously Mike uh, here at the factory. So. Um, at the moment, I have no reason and no second thoughts at all. If, if anything, is more convincing than a year ago that this is the right place to be. So you do see uh, a Red Bull in Lotus Racing where in a certain number of years, just a few years, it can come up and contend in, uh, in the championships and all that? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think this has to be our target and I think we, we need to set ourselves uh, uh, you know, high goals. You know, I think we, I certainly myself, I don't want to be just a, just a, an average team at the back of the grid. You know, we want to get better, and I know, and, and the people in this team know what it takes and what we need to put in place to be able to do that. And that's why it's very important to keep working flat out all the time and keep pushing, even if the car is not not quick enough. Because uh, when we arrive at the point that the car is is quick, then we all need to be ready. And um, I think if we, like I said, if we believe it, uh, we can do it. If we believe enough for it, I think we, I think we can definitely achieve it. Um, back to the car, what you didn't like in this year's car? Well, it didn't have enough grip. First of all, uh, overall downforce level was was poor, and um, uh, and uh, reliability also was not as good as we wanted. But it was more really down to our suppliers. Especially the hydraulic system of the car was uh, very weak. Um, apart from that, actually, the car, in terms of balance, we were able to, to find a quite a good balance 
balance in the car and it was comfortable to drive but it was just lacking grip and uh, and the lap time every time across the start finish rate was too slow uh, it's as simple as that but uh, um, anyway it was a car that was built in a rush uh, not by our own designers but uh, and other people in Germany when the team was not even set up yet so if you uh, look at the look at the starting point I think it was a good car uh, re relatively good car to the time that it was given to, to design and develop and it still beat the other new teams so our target was to beat other new teams and we did that so so we can be pleased about that what do you feel about next year using Renault engines and you know, will that propel you up in the grid? <coughs> I think the engine and the gearbox itself is not going to be the, the main key. You know, we're going to have our own chassis which is much lighter and much more modern and much uh, generally just much better chassis that is, is uh, more up to Formula 1 standards. And uh, I think the key element is going to be aerodynamics. And, uh, we know that at the moment our wind tunnel is not uh, uh, not the best yet, and in fact our own wind tunnel we are just starting to, to build it. So that's going to be crucial for our uh, aero, aero, the aero team to to do their work at the maximum. So it's probably not going to be good enough yet this year or for next year. But uh, I think um, uh, I think it will be a, a lot better, and I think we can achieve achieve the target that we set for next year and. Um, the Renault engine, Renault uh, Red Bull gearbox, and the whole relationship with Red Bull, I think, is very important for our team. And uh, you know, they are the benchmark at the moment, so I think it will benefit us a lot. And um, I'm really happy, and it's very positive that the team has taken these kind of decisions. These are the kind of kind of directions that we need to take now if we want to achieve the top. And we've taken that, and, and we've uh, we've gone to that route. So it's all positive. You have tried out the uh, new Pirelli tyres. What what do you think about them? Uh, is it a bit different than the Bridgestones? Uh, a bit different, but I think uh, not big enough difference to to cause a problem. The problem trouble. I think uh, um, it will cause uh, teams to set up the car a little bit differently. The, the rear tyres seem slightly weaker and the front tyres slightly stronger. But in terms of the order where the teams are going, I think will be exactly the same as, as they were bridge stones. Uh, if, if you put these tyres for this year's car, I think the qualifying results will be similar. Um, then next year, it depends, maybe somebody can design the car that is working better for these tyres, be, you know, better than some other teams, but my feeling is that the Pirelli uh, is, uh, is, is the kind of company that can make a very good tyre and um, it would not cause any surprises for any other teams. Okay, what's your comment on uh, this whole name issue with the team that Group Lotus may come in and you may not be able to race under Team Lotus and all that? <coughs> what's your comment? I think as far as I understand, we, we will be able to race under team, team Lotus. We have the name. Whether there will be two two uh, cars uh, featuring Lotus, then I don't know, and that, that's not really our problem, if there is, I don't think. Um, I haven't really got very much into that. I've left it to Tony and to, to Dean and to, to Neza to sort out and, and to Mike. Um, all I'm interested in is how our car is performing, or whatever we are called. Um, and I think uh, the important point is that the people in our team are, are still very good people, and as a team we're working very, very well regardless of what we called and I think it's the people that make the team not not the name so I mean I, I like the team not the name I like the uh, the Chapman family uh, I think they're great people and, and the spirit that they had when Colin Chapman had his in his team uh, a few decades ago is similar to what we have here now so I, I hope that we could keep that but uh, if not I think uh, we still have the people same people in the team that make the team so it doesn't. I, I don't lose my sleep overnight because of that. To be honest. So you don't think the uh, the passion in the team, the performance of, of the members of the team, will change if say it is not green and yellow anymore? No, no. We know that we're not going to be green and yellow. We're going to be gold and black. Mm. If, if it's year. not gold and black, also no difference at all. No, I don't think so. People, as far as I can see, and the people that I know in this team, they are here 
to uh, to uh, achieve the good results together. They believe that they can do a job better than the other teams. We can be a more united and a better team than other teams. Um, and I think they they do bother about what we called. Uh, I think generally people love the Team Lotus name and the theme and, and the history of the team and, and the heritage that the name has. And it would be great that if we could replicate that kind of heritage one day and that kind of results one day. But I think um, people in this team, they like to work here. They like the, the atmosphere and they love to work with Tony, with, with Mike and everyone. So I think as far as I see, it doesn't matter what we're called. Would you see that uh, because you have raced for a number of other Formula One teams, is racing for Lotus Racing different? Do you have like a special bond here? Do you feel something different here? Or is it just like any other Formula One team? <coughs> no, it's different. It's different. And I think Tony Fernandez has brought here. Um, uh, uh, in generally, I think he's brought, brought to Formula One a different um, character, a different kind of feel. You know, he's very humble, um, he's very open. He doesn't, you know, have any secrets really. He tells people how things are, if it's good or bad. People like him, and people like um, the employees like him. The people who work for him, you know, he's uh, he's had that same kind of uh, attitude at AirAsia and made the made the AirAsia business and and the company very very successful. And I think it works also in Formula One. And, and um, you know, we're not a corporate team that uh, is uh, is uh, full of uh, laws and and. Um, and rules. We are, we are a group of passionate people who want to go motor racing. You know, who want to go to the to the limits. Uh, uh, maybe it's not always as clean and as best style as it could be, but you know, we we going for it. And I think um, I think that's the that's the reason why people like us. And I think Tony has brought a lot um, a lot of that to this team and and the people. People very motivated. People are very motivated to work here, the extra hour, you know, to make sure that uh, that they do the job as best as they can. And um, uh, Tony is also very convincing. You know, he's done every single promise that he's uh, he's promised so far. You know, uh, we, we are expanding. We are taking the right steps. People can see that, so they like to work for us. And and this is very important to 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 the future for the future. If we want to do good results. As a small team, we need to get more out of the people and out of the team than than a bigger team. And I think the, already the first few shows that we did it, and and uh, if we believe it enough, we can do it again. Okay. One last question: This year in uh, Singapore, when the car caught fire, can you run us through what, how was the experience, and then and you had to come out and you saw this big flame and which you had to put on yourself. Yeah, of course it was. Um, um, it was a great race. First of all, for me it was a great weekend. I qualified uh, just behind Timo in uh, in qualifying, but uh, was uh, I knew that it was a good position for me to start the race, and the strategy in the race was perfect. So I was able to jump Timo uh, and the, the other new teams and the drivers very quickly, and uh, in fact I was able to lap the Virgin's cars, which was very very good. The performance was really good in Singapore. And a couple of laps from the end, I was fighting with Michael and with Boemi. And um, I thought, you know, I will do everything I can to keep them behind me. Because it's only two laps to go and we were we were fighting for a 13th position, I think it was. And um, and then Boemi just touched me a little bit in one corner when I was trying to defend. And um, it broke a little fuel line at the back of my car. And when I got going again, I could see that uh, there was a fire forming and just coming at the pit entry, just before the pit entry, I saw there was flames at the back of my car. So in, very quickly I had to make a decision whether I go to the pits or whether I stay on the track. And I felt that the car in fire, at the end of the race, there would be a lot of people in the pit lane. So I thought it's better to stay on the on the track. And I, I stopped the car in the main straight and trying to find a, a fire extinguisher. <laughs> um, for me, I, it was not, uh, not a scary, it was not a, a difficult moment. I was not worried about myself. I was just worried about, you know, if other people get get burned if the car explodes. Um, and as soon as I got the extinguisher, I was able to to stop the fire. And uh, it was it was actually a um, uh, a moment that caught many people eye. You know, it was it, of course it was bad. We wanted to do a good result, and we had a good result coming there. But um, but I think we caught the moment. We took the moment uh, in front of people in the night with big flames. We got some good good pictures. 
um, and we were quite cool about it. You know, we 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 gained a lot of uh, attention, a lot of respect, and um, and also I gained a new nickname, the Fireman. The Fireman. So, uh, so in the end, it was a positive. It was a positive call. Okay. Thank you so much.